like when we come to Chip Professor Proceeding competition and poetry competition. So we would like to start with the extempo speech. So I request all the participants to kindly get ready from all the representatives. Denmark. So that's the first criteria. The second would be your diction, your language, your pronunciation. Okay. And that would carry 10 marks. The third criteria will be your overall presentation. The social media and social media, despite of its usages, despite of its merits, we have got lots of demerits in every other strata of our life. It is not only cultural, but in every other strata of our life. And uh, nowadays, uh, I also believe that uh, since you can see me, I'm a Muslim. I belong to uh, I belong from a Muslim community. But you can see me, I'm not looking like a Muslim. It is all because of social media's impact and the education. I'm from the our community, and. Uh, the example that I, I want to take is, I have seen many of my people don't know their language. Even parents, when they have a baby who can speak, the first thing they teach them is, what is your name? Not, it's not about the own language. But here, it's English and Nagamis, English and Nagamis. And do you know that this is going to impact a lot in your child's life and my life, all of our lives. So the importance of mother tongue, teaching mother tongue to children, teaching mother tongue to youth. In Mokokchung, in Twinsang, in all the other areas, they know their languages. But people who live in the cities, I have a cousin sister who lives in Bangalore right now. She went for further studies and came back speaking. Good morning, everyone. Respected Timapur Government College respected panel of judges and to each and every one here. The topic that I got today is Nagamis journalism. So what is journalism? Journalism is something who spread news, who spread what happens here, what happens there. It's because of journalism that we are able to know what's happening in other part of the world. My culture is my identity and there is a saying by Robert Swain that if you know about others, you are wise. But if you know about yourself, you are truly wise. So knowing your culture is knowing your identity. And one of the most relatable and closest illustration or an example can be uh, during our during the national movement of our country. So, the things that we learn from our ancestors, it could be the culture, the practices that they did, and so on and so forth. But the practices that they did, like in terms of the, let's take an example of headhunting. It was prevalent in those days, like they took great pride and honor to practice it. We the Nagas, we have Varieties of cuisine when it comes to talking about the cuisine in Nagaland here we have our own authentic taste as a Sumi Naga we have Akuni what we call the dry fermented uh, dry fermented soya so the culture here in Nagaland has always taught us, it has always been our legacy. No matter where you go in foreign land, these days you would see that our entrepreneurs have set up different kind of food items like bamboo shoots and akuni, the dry fermented soya bean which is becoming really very popular. And if you check on YouTube, you can find so many varieties of cuisine. It's, it's, it's a very diverse land where all the, the there are about 40 major tribes. So each and every tribe has has our own festival and our all and our very own way of celebrating it. For example, let's say uh, we are so fortunate to um, as I got this topic, I, I was so fortunate to say that we, 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 today we are having our Aulang festival of, for our Konyak brothers and sisters. The world would be different if there was no multiculturalism in any country. A very good morning to all the dignitaries, panel of judges, and all the students present here today. I am Ms. Susmita Deb from Pranabananda Women's College. 
standing in front of you all to share my views on the topic multiculturalism as a boom. Well, multiculturalism means the importance given to all the cultures, to all the traditions in a particular setting. Back to looking around uh, living, uh, the world that we are living in. It is filled with hypocritical and unjustifiable and in fact multiculturalism has brought a lot of negative impacts. Before I proceed, let me, let me go to saying by Angela Merkel, the multiculturalism, this multiculturalism approach by saying that we live side by side and to live happily together has failed, utterly failed. Multiculturalism has in fact... Let me interpret as to why multiculturalism is a boon. First, it gives a sense of... Uh, it gives a sense of identity. For instance, different tribes of our land coming together under the banner of the word Naka and representing the Naka as a whole. Second, it gives... Uh, giving an example of the present day education system introduced by Lord Macaulay. It was introduced on the pretext of undermining the Indian society. Saying that the British uh, arts and science is more advanced. Wait, let me give you an example. In the contemporary world, the, uh, the present racial and ethnic conflicts going in Africa and all is the direct legacy of the colonial era. Let's talk about India. We talk about multiculturalism. India was partitioned on the pretext of being a multicultural diversity. It is our inability to recognize, understand, accept, and to celebrate those differences. What I mean to say is, we are living in multicultural uh, society. So we have different, different culture in our society. So when I say, when I talk, when I talk about different culture, we have different, different way of living, different way of eating, different way of le uh, talking. We have different language. So these all are opportunity for us to learn all these things. This is our opportunity. We should accept this opportunity. The audience present here. I standing for against motion. Firstly, before I go to my statement, I would like to put up a quotation. A quotation by Merlin D. Paint, a politician, states that multiculturalism is a multi-conflict society, and I greatly agree with it. The Constitution, which is regarded as the highest law of the land, gives its statement in Article 29.1, which says, the citizens of India, irrespective of the territory, shall have the right to conserve the culture, the script, the language. Which, my point is that multiculturalism is the right of the citizens, which is accepted and supported by the law. However, multiculturalism has lost its value and meaning. The word multi has turned into monoculture. For example, people in Nagaland, we are by birth and by default habituated to learn more than three languages. And then when we look at the people from America, they can only speak one language. The term multiculturalism is often used uh, to descriptively characterize the diversity of our country. And India is one of the most diverse country. And maybe that's the reason why we are all sitting here from various cultural background with only for, only with, only for good cause and with good intention. Points. Point number one. Dealing with different culture. It is not easy for everyone, for each individual, to deal with the other culture. Because the main problem is that each culture has different beliefs and different practice. Because, let, firstly, let me tell you, because of multiculturalism, some people have a hard time to integrate with the society. And also, Let's talk about multiculturalism education, which includes resentment, alienation, where students and teachers don't have a proper communication or a training to facilitate or communicate with one another to build one other relationship. Opponents. Well, before studying, my fellow opponents, she told that language is a barrier, right? I really disagree with that. Language is not a barrier. I think language is like a it's an opportunity for us to to learn about other cultures also we should learn how their language we should learn how their like cultures are and do you are aware of that that in Nagaland there is going on a spring festival also uh, the culture festivals are going on recently it's going on give them is a blessing benefit acquire new lifestyles but 
I totally disagree with that. Because of multiculturalism, there exists a tribalism, discrimination in our country as well as the outer side. Uh, the second point that uh, is linguistic, uh, they say there are several languages in this world. So I should say that because uh, of several languages. Multiculturalism is a boom because it helps us to discover new culture, customs from beyond what we know through its diversity. Multicultural society gives an individual an upper hand of understanding new social narrows and values which raise one's awareness and value and with regard to the world's issue. Each and every individual desires to acquire a new experience as well as broad knowledge which is well offered by living in a multicultural society setting. Thank you. This is Dr. M. Limpan Thanguli. I am the principal of the Mapur Government College and also the district higher education officer in Dimapur. So sorry about this program, like how many days uh, it, how many days is this program going to be held and the next, my next question will be uh, what benefit is it for the students uh, with this kind of programs? This program will be for two days, today and tomorrow. So far as the importance of this program is concerned, uh, we know that culture is important and uh, without culture you are nobody and so we have to inculcate this thinking into the minds of the students so as they grew up and uh, as they come to the college to acquire knowledge we also must educate them with the importance of one's culture that is the reason why we are organizing this two-day program so sir what are the activities included during this cultural day during this cultural day we have uh, folk song presentations the next timber speech debate competition poetry competition centering around the topic of culture we have uh, many items like uh, folk dance folk song and uh, various other items uh, centering around the uh, same topic as I said, the importance of culture in one's life. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Thank and you. best of luck for your program. Thank you so much. So, I am going to go to Dimapur Government College. I am going to go to cultural program. So, I am going to go to the debate, extempore speech, poetry, cultural dance, cultural songs. I am going to go to the first day of the second day of the musical night. I am going to go to the renowned Nagaland artist, the Paradigm Shifts, and Eva Jamir, the artist, and the students can be able to perform in the United States. तो ये तेरा प्रिंसिपल आमे हम खोता कौन देता है इमाम बाल बामे आंगे जाना ही दिच्छे ये रो कल्चरल दे रखिया दोन आमे हम आंगे निजर डा कल्चरल जानू कल्चरल जानू वो दिवो करने रखिया से दोने स्टूडेंट्स कहेंगे भी जानू वो दिवो करने ताई इतु इवेंट दो एक ता रखिया से कुने आमे हम आंगे � Tapi betul lah speech tema bahawa amihan juga kuna rakyat disha amitu naga miste kui dewo. Abni kun thakilibi, kote thakilibi, nolibi, ki thakilibi. Abni do nijerda culture jani bo lagi, atau nijerda culture ke do important dewo lagi le mana ya amih ulu abni ulu bi. Aji ki asih itu do cultural culture amihan culture karna asih kuna tapi betul lah starting of the speech itu English pak kui disha. To itu do amihan ulu mondar rakyat ne. एक ता रिफ्लेक्ट करो लगे कि लोग मना अम्यान अम्यान ना कल्चर हर जगह से गुने ये तो जाना ही दिया से तो इन्हें का खबर और अलग अलग खबर करना अपने साइट है कि भी नागलेन टीवी मुझे आराम अच्छी में विद कैमरा पर्सन चौचिंग लूंग फॉर एनल टीवी